Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook. When it comes to social media, there are more choices than ever before. But if you're a coach who's trying to get clients, it can feel overwhelming to figure out which platform is best for you. But don't worry, in this video, I'm about to walk you through exactly how I help my clients figure out where to post and what platform is best for them. So you can walk away with clarity and start attracting high paying coaching clients a lot more quickly. Hey, it's Jason Moss. I'm a multi six figure business coach and I've helped thousands of coaches around the world launch and grow their businesses. And look, the tips I'm about to share with you in this video, super important when it comes to social media. But if you wanna dive deeper and figure out exactly what you need to focus on in order to get clients online, as a coach, I put together a free client attraction guide for coaches that walks through all the details. You can get that completely free by clicking the link above or in the description down below. So the truth is when it comes to social media, there isn't one best platform that's right for everyone. I'm a big believer that marketing should be customized to you and your niche and your business. And so what I wanna walk you through in this video is three questions that I ask all of the clients I work with to help them figure this out. And if you can walk through these and ask yourself these questions, the answers are gonna be your guide to figuring out which social media platform to focus on and what's gonna be best for you and what's gonna create the best results in your business in terms of new clients in the door. So first question, and probably the most important question you can ask yourself to figure this out is where are my ideal clients? As a coach, you're not here to serve everyone. Your business exists to solve a very specific problem for a very specific group of people. And so the first thing we gotta do is get clear on number one, who are those people? And if you haven't done that yet, I put together a free training on how to choose your niche, how to get clear on that, that is linked up above, that will walk you through a process to help you get clear on this. That's really the first step, but after that, once you know who your ideal clients actually are, asking yourself, well, where are those people most likely to hang out? If they're corporate professionals, you're probably gonna be better off on LinkedIn than on TikTok. If there are people who are in their early 20s, maybe TikTok would be a better choice. If there are people who are more visually driven, we might wanna stick with Instagram. If there are people who are a little bit older, maybe we wanna go on Facebook. It really depends first and foremost on who your people are. And when you can ask that question first and get clear on where those people are hanging out, then you can go and you can meet them where they're at. And that's probably one of the biggest keys to success when it comes to marketing. We gotta go where your people are. I see a lot of coaches out there who are struggling to get clients because they're showing up in places that their ideal clients aren't hanging out. And they're wondering, well, why am I not getting clients? Well, of course, the first thing is you gotta be in the room with the right people. So asking yourself this question, where are my ideal clients? Is probably one of the most important questions you can ask yourself to figure out which platform is best for you. Second question I would ask yourself is, what are your unfair advantages? Every coach out there has one or more secret superpowers, things that you're really good at, that you're better than anybody else at, that you can leverage as strengths in your marketing. For example, I've spent a lot of time honing my craft on YouTube and making videos like this. My first coaching business was built pretty much exclusively off the back of YouTube. So I recorded so many videos and spent so many hours in front of a camera that I just feel very natural and comfortable doing videos like this. That's a superpower. That's an unfair advantage. So knowing that I have this strength going into my coaching business, I might say, okay, well, where can I leverage video? What platforms might I be able to use that unfair advantage on to gain some leverage and to be kind of one step ahead of the, the competition? And I don't love the word competition because I don't feel like we're competing, but that's you know one way of thinking about it. You might be a really great writer. For example, my partner, Kimberly, she was a journalism major. She went to school and studied journalism. So she spent a lot of time studying how to write really well. So in her coaching business, she really leaned on writing posts. And I might say, you know, hey, it's probably a great idea to start a blog or to leverage written content. You might be someone who just really enjoys talking. You don't wanna be on a camera, but great. You know, we can record audio and leverage that in terms of your social media presence. So the first thing is just getting really clear on what your unfair advantages actually are and then figuring out which platform will help you play to your strengths. For example, if we look at things like TikTok, very visually driven, video driven platform, not gonna be a great place for you if you feel really uncomfortable on camera. Maybe we wanna stick to Facebook or we wanna stick to Twitter or places where you can leverage written text to work for you. So it's really about understanding who you are and this is the key to this second question and then playing to those strengths and finding the platform that's gonna allow you to leverage those strengths to really stand out. And then the third question I would ask is where will you enjoy showing up the most? What platform will you feel most comfortable in, most excited about showing up and creating content? One of the biggest keys to success on any social media platform is you gotta create 
create depth. You gotta show up consistently. You gotta create lots of content. And so if you're dreading the experience of showing up on LinkedIn, maybe you're just someone who hates the idea of being in like a stuffy boardroom type place and you wanna feel more free. You wanna feel like you can express yourself without those layers or those barriers, great. Well, LinkedIn's probably not the place for you. Or you know, maybe you're someone who really loves that environment. You thrive in that environment. You, you're buttoned up, you're professional. If you're gonna feel really comfortable in that environment, great. Well, we wanna leverage that. So where are you gonna enjoy showing up? What kinds of environments are you gonna be most comfortable in and be able to really show up for the long haul because you're actually enjoying it. Marketing should not feel like it's like a drag that you're hating every second of your life showing up on a social media platform. If that's the case, either, you know, maybe we need to look at, you know, how you're showing up or sometimes it's just like you're not in the right room. We gotta switch the platform and find a place that's just gonna be more engaging to you and a place that you can really show up for the long haul. So hopefully walking through these three questions should give you some clarity and help you figure out which social media platform is best to be focused on for you. I also I also wanna share some tips with you to success, and these apply to any social media platform that you might be showing up on. The first is I want you to pick one platform to start. Super easy to get overwhelmed with social media when you feel like you need to be in all places at once. And maybe you look at people out there who are more established and you see that they've got like four or five, six different social media platforms, and so you might feel like you need to do that too. The truth is if you're in the earlier stages of your coaching business, it's better to focus on one platform and to get that really dialed in and to get some traction going on that one platform before you expand and before you add more. I see a lot of coaches make this mistake of adding too much too soon. And often when one thing isn't working, it's very tempting to say, well, you know, let's just add more. And you end up in a place where your focus is straddled so thin that you're unable to create the depth that's necessary in any one of those places to create results. And that's a recipe for overwhelm, for frustration, for burnout, and for ultimately not creating success as a coach. So I recommend focusing on one place, really getting that dialed in, don't add more until you've got one platform working. And if one platform isn't working, address the root of the problem there and figure out what's going on and how to resolve that before you start adding more. The other thing is that consistency and volume are big keys to success. In order to really evaluate whether or not a platform is working for you, you gotta show up consistently, ideally every day, and create a large enough volume of content to really be able to figure out what works and what doesn't. If you're just showing up and posting when you feel like it, or you're showing up you know, once a week or something like that, it's not enough. Enough. We gotta be showing up ideally every day or greater. Like if you can you know, create multiple pieces of content a day, even better. But really just showing up consistently and being committed to diving deep on one platform, creating the volume of content that's necessary as well as showing up consistently day after day, that's really the biggest key to success. And you can create success in a lot of different places. But I hear from a lot of coaches who are like, social media doesn't work. And I'm like, well, how often are you posting? And they're like, well, ah, I was kinda like, I fell off last week and I was you know, kinda doing it for a little while and then I wasn't. And if this is you, you're not gonna create results. <laughs> you're not gonna get success. You're not gonna get clients. So consistency and volume, those are the two big keys to success when it comes to social media. And finally, it's important to be patient. This is not a sexy message, right? It's not something that a lot of people wanna hear. And a lot of people get discouraged and frustrated because they start showing up and then two weeks later, they don't have any clients or people aren't reaching out to them. The truth is it takes time to build success because relationships take time. And if you look at what you do on social media as nothing more than building relationships because that is what you're doing. You just think about the people in your life right now that you're really close with. Chances are those relationships formed over years and many, many, many interactions that you had with that person. And at first you had no idea who they were and then you, you know, maybe hung out a little bit and then you hung out again, you hung out again and that happened over months and months. And so the same thing applies with social media. We need time for those relationships to develop and consistency and volume will help you do that. But you can't get discouraged if you're not getting results in like two weeks. Most people get frustrated and they give up way too soon. And rather than recognizing what they're really doing, which is planting seeds, every single day you show up, you create content, you're planting seeds and those seeds are gonna take time to materialize. But if you can continue to focus on the process, continue to show up, create great content, get better and better every single day and be consistent, you are going to see results over time. They just might not happen like tomorrow. So I'm hoping this video gave you some clarity on what social media platform is best for you to focus on in your coaching business. If you wanna dive deeper, 
I recommend that you download my free client attraction guide too that walks through our four-step roadmap that we've shared with thousands of coaches at this point to help them start getting on track to signing clients consistently. It's completely free, super valuable. I'd love to share it with you. You can click the link above or below in the video uh, to go check that out right now. If you love this video, you're definitely gonna love that one too. So click the link on the screen to go check that out right now and I'll see you in the next video.